friends, Lisa. I recently did a video called uh, Use It and Move It to get talk about some of the stamp sets that I have put on my Etsy shop and some of the stamp sets that will be put on my Etsy shop, things that I want to use one more time and move them out. This stamp set I may have to use more than one more time. Um, it's a hostess set. It was, I think, a level two hostess set from Stamping Up, so it's not an easy Probably, it's, I assume not a pretty easy set to come by and I really really need to be sure that I want to get rid of this one before I sell it so I'm going to use it a bunch here for Christmas cards with this um, design that shows our bird sitting amongst the snow and we're going to start with some uh, Midnight Muse cardstock this was an older color from Stamping Up but I think it's my favorite of the navies that they have had it's no longer a current color and um, I'm going to stamp with Whisper White ink, which is a pigment ink. So it takes a little bit longer to dry. It's a little thicker ink. You can do this by um, stamping with this ink, or you can stamp and emboss in white. And that's normally what I do. But this time I thought it would be kind of fun to do um, the pigment ink. Gives you a little bit different look. The set also comes with some small supporting uh, stamps for each of the seasons. So I have an individual snowflake here. And we're just going to stamp it kind of around. And that's why I have this scrap paper here. So I can have some of the snowflakes go off the edge. And I'm probably going to trim some of this bottom off. I haven't decided, but we'll go ahead and do that. Now for the center of the bird, I want to do um, use the mark use markers and create a design and punch out of the bird with his um, little hat on. To do our bird, we're going to use some markers. And I have Baja Breeze for my blue. Then I'm going to go around the edge and do these little snowflakes in the blue. So my other ink colors here are going to be real red and soft suede, soft suede for the branch and real red for the birds, um, the body of the bird is in the blue and then the real red is for his little hat. Now if you didn't have this particular stamp set you could use say a large snowflake in the center of your card or any other design that um, was circular or maybe a punched out design uh, for the middle would work fine with this uh, card layout. And I put the bird on, I punched it with the one inch punch and I put him on with some um, glue dots. Now what I want to do is sort of tear the bottom edge and then stamp my greeting directly on my card but I don't think I have this stamp positioned perfectly straight on the block so I'm just kind of experimenting with how much I'm going to have to tilt that, bo that block up and I tilt it too much and get it really crooked so I'll save that card for one where I put the blue all going all the way to the bottom and let's do another card front I end up making six of these total. That one's stamped straight, and then we're going to tear the blue paper, slight angle. And I have some Baja Breeze ribbon that I'm going to tie around this. I loved this color. This is my favorite color that Stamping Up ever did. I just ordered through eBay some more of this paper uh, in both of these colors because I was out of that blue and I really like that version of navy better than anything Stamping Up's ever had or currently has in navy and I knew I would want more of the Baja Breeze. Now I tied, tied this ribbon going the wrong way so that the little tails were kind of hanging over the top of the bird so I just turned it around and the future ones that I tied I just instead of putting the ribbon, I think I normally put it left over right, I did it right over left or whatever to make it turn around the other way. Added some dimensional adhesive. And there's our card with our birdie and uh, a greeting and then I can put an inside greeting in here for the holidays using some um, navy blue cardstock on aqua color Baja Breeze little trim and this cute uh, stamp set and the white ink. So 
that's one of my Christmas cards. So I'm going to make a few more of these, um, and then maybe we'll come up with another way to use this set before it goes on the market. Thanks so much.